Hello, my name's Dr. Adrian Webb and I'm here outside of Taunton Castle to talk to you about one of the research projects that I've been involved with for quite a long time. So it all started in 1988 when I was very fortunate and a good friend of mine took me into the building behind me. In fact, the room there uh, above the gate you can see and showed me where the bishops of Winchester they used to store their records relating to the ancient and very vast manor of Taunton Dean. And I became very interested in not only the records but of course the people who were involved with creating them and looking after them as well. Were these local people? I, obviously at the time I didn't know that. Um, and of course, who were they? Were they all lawyers? Or were they simply clerks? Uh, I didn't know at the time, but after many years of research, of course, that picture is becoming a lot clearer. And perhaps one of the most shortest lived uh, occupants of any of those roles, administrative roles, that supported the Bishop of Winchester managing his estate uh, was held by a man called. Thomas Spigernal. Now obviously Spigernal is not really a Somerset name so where did he come from? He was a bit of a mystery but thanks to some recent discoveries he has turned out to be quite a fascinating man and his life. Uh, I've now been able to piece that together. So he was actually born in Berkshire but thanks to uh, the early death of his father, he was put under the care of uh, just a relative who was then able to put him uh, under the custody of Dr. Thomas Palmer. Uh, and Palmer was uh, basically MP for Taunton uh, just before the Civil War. And it's around about that sort of time that Spigernal would have come to Taunton and he was seen in Taunton actually looking after Dr. Palmer's horses. Then after a short time uh, being educated under Palmer's uh, careful eye, he actually came back to Taunton in the uh, early 1650s and became a surveyor of the lands that were sequestered from the Stowell family. And this really put his career on the map, it really did, he, it took off from then. He became quite wealthy uh, and he married into a, a, a very wealthy Catholic family from Wells. But unfortunately that marriage didn't last very long and then shortly after he married a lady called Elizabeth Brown. Now Elizabeth's family had been clerks of the castle of Taunton behind me this is, and this is the local connection. They also lived in a lovely house at Wilton, which is about a couple of miles from the centre of Taunton. And subsequently, there was some uh, a fallings out. He didn't get his marriage portion. Uh, and so all this went to Chancery to be resolved. And the subsequent records, the depositions that were taken in Taunton, reveal a great deal about his life and also one particular event that is very relevant to the building that I'm stood in front. And that happened when Elizabeth's brother offered Spigernal part of the money that was due for him for his marriage settlement. Now we're not talking like a few pounds, we're talking hundreds of pounds, which in the 1660s uh, was a great deal of money. Unfortunately, although the arrangements were made and local men came to the castle to witness the event and Elizabeth's brother George had the money in a bag of, and it says, you know, it was there on the table and they waited until dusk, but Spigernal didn't turn up. Spigernal was very fly. He was basically a lawyer based in Clements Inn and he also obtained a very nice house at Long Sutton and subsequently uh, the money wasn't handed over and the dispute wasn't settled and then Spigernal died in Taunton shortly afterwards 
And then for many years afterwards, his widow uh, was left in a perilous state. She remarried, but she tried on many occasions to get the money back through the Court of Chancery. And that's just one of the many, many stories that are associated with Taunton Castle behind me and the people who worked there and were associated with it.